Hello friends, it's Pradhir Pathak this side and you are watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, today in this tutorial, we are going to learn how can we read and QR code using Python. See, in the previous tutorial, we learned how can we generate a QR code using Python. Now, if you have watched the previous video, you must be familiar with this code. We use this code to generate a QR code and see here in the directory, we have a QR code here. Now, let me just open it and you will see. Uh, this is our QR code and there is a data embedded in it. The data is PyGuru Python and I want to read this uh, QR code using Python again. Now for this we are going to use a library uh, called OpenCV. Now OpenCV is a computer vision library available in Python. You can simply install it by this command pip install openCV-python. Now most of the times it may cause some error. So if you are getting error while installing pip install openCV-python, you can use another way to install OpenCV. Then another way is to visit this website, download a will file of the OpenCV and uh, install it using the will file. Now I have already a, a tutorial on how to install will files in Python. I will drop a link of that particular tutorial in the video description. So if you are getting any error while installing pip install openCV-python, you can try this way. Okay. Then now let's try moving further. And here uh, we are going to uh, import the OpenCV. How to import it? It is imported something like this. Import CV2. Okay. Now see CV2 or OpenCV-python is a wrapper around OpenCV. Okay. In Python. So we have successfully imported it. Uh, you can see there was no error. It means that it was successfully installed and imported. The next thing is we are going to read the image that we want to generate uh, uh, that we want to detect. Okay. So I will create a variable called img and how to read an image in uh, OpenCV. It's very easy. cv2 dot im read. Okay. And then you have to pass the image that you want to read. See a uh, file name by which uh, QR code is saved is this thing QR test dot png. So I'll just copy this paste it here. Okay. And this is the same QR code that I have shown. This is a QR test dot png. Okay. So we want to read it. Then uh, OpenCV has a uh, inbuilt detect uh, QR detector. So we have to create an object of that detector. So let's create an object by giving it a name detector equals cv2 dot qr code detector it's a class so you have to create an object of this class so we have created an object of this class cv2 dot qr code detector okay so remember the kissing okay otherwise it will lead to error the next thing is we have to uh, detect the qr code so how to detect it uh, our we our detector has a function called de detect and decode okay and the detect and decode function gives us three things the data that is embedded in the qr code then a bounding box around the QR code and the straight QR code. So we are interested in two things, the data and the bounding box. So let's see how can we uh, get it. So type this data comma B box, which stands for bounding box and then straight QR code. Straight QR code. Then our detector class uh, object has a function called detect and decode. So you have to call this function. Now this function will take an image. So our image is stored in the IMG variable. Uh, one more thing that I forgot to tell you, if you just print IMG after reading it, you will see it's an array of numbers. Okay, if you, you can try printing it, uh, we have detected it and it returns us three things, data bounding for box, straight QR code. So here I'm going to uh, put a if condition, if B box is not none. This means that the image that we are detecting, if it is not a QR code, then the certain thing that we are going to do here will not be printed. Okay. Uh, it may happen that uh, you may try to read an image and you are applying a VBOX on it. Okay. So it will uh, put uh, this if condition will help us to not get any error. So print data. Okay. It means uh, simply if you are getting a VBOX, a bounding box, then you can try printing data and VBOX. Uh, let me just run this and it will show you this thing first the data data is stored in the QR code so our data was this PyGuru Python and uh, see here it's uh, written here also in the previous tutorial we used a website to detect the QR code called the webqr.com okay but here we have generated our uh, own detector so uh, it's successfully detecting the data in it now what I want is I want to draw lines around the QR code see this is the QR code and there is some white uh, space and I want uh, that this should be removed and a line along this 
uh, square should be generated along the perimeter of the square should be generated so let's see how can you do it uh, it's very easy what i'm going to do see here again a b box is a bounding box and it is storing the coordinates of the four points four vertices of the square so we are going to use the coordinates and draw a line around it so the first line will be from this point to this point then from this point to this point then from this point to this point and the final line that is fourth line will be from this to this okay so there are four lines then so let's see how can we do it we, i'm going to create a variable called n lines which is number of lines and we are going to store the length of b box which is four as you can see there are four arrays okay now you can uh, also remember this is a numpy array okay so we are going to apply for loop for i in range n lines so what we have to do we have to uh, generate the four uh, uh, what do we say the two end point points of the line c uh, to generate a line in cv2 you have to first find out the point one and the point two so a point one is this then point two is this then the next time our point one will be this then this then the next time our point one will be this and then this point two and then the final time our point one will be this and point two will be this so let's see how can we do it point one equals tuple okay and b box i comma zero see the <coughs> value of i will be zero one two three so the first time point one will be zero zero which is this array okay and the point two will be point two will be tuple of b box uh, i plus one mod by n lines uh, which is simply what is uh, what is this i plus one means zero plus one so one mod by four is one so one zero so this time the point tuple two is point two is this array okay so then we have detected the two point got the two point let's just draw a line so cv2 dot line this is a function that we are going to use it takes a uh, few things first the image so our image is this okay around which we want to draw the line and then it takes two points so our first point is point one and the second point is point two and then it takes a color variable color argument now color argument is a bgr value instead of rgb value okay it's a tuple so i want blue colors to be drawn so i'll simply pass 255 comma 0 comma 0 remember it's a bgr value not a rgb value generally we have a rgb value but here it's a bgr blue green red and then finally we have to pass the thickness of the line we can pass it like this thickness equals 2 then now let's try displaying the image display the result so how can we do it it's very easy uh, first of all you have to do this cv2 dot im show see just like we read the detect uh, image similarly we can show the image by im show so it takes two things first a window you can give uh, your window any name let's say uh, i want to give my window name as image you can give it any name doesn't matter and then the image that we want to show our image is img so i want to show this then it takes cv2 dot weight key function and pass zero what weight key zero means you have to show the image until and unless someone uh, clicks the close button this button uh, uh, until someone not clicking this the image has to be shown and then finally you have to run this or destroy all windows function so let me just run this and what it will do it will just open as a image see here uh, the data is read by guru python which is printed by this line and see here here uh, there's a bound, uh, blue line around the qr code okay so we have successfully detected uh, the data from it then we have also generated a bounding box or the blue line around the qr code okay so this is how we can read a qr code using python so yep this is it for this video guys if you uh, love this video if you learned something new from this video you can leave a like or dislike if you're new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next video